Hello everyone, I'm Sign One News anchor Martha Anger. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Today, the long holiday weekend is over. Unfortunately, some of the air travel mess will be around again today. Flight Aware says Southwest canceled about 60% of today's flights before the day even started. It canceled roughly 70% of yesterday's flights and says rebooking could take several days. Buffalo Niagara International Airport says it will remain closed today after getting 49 inches of snow. You heard correctly, 49 inches. The best thing you can do if you're heading to the airport, just be sure to check your flight status first. And then be prepared to wait. Have you ever decided to watch a movie based on the theater trailer, but then you were so disappointed when you actually saw the movie? Well, a California judge says movie studios can be sued for misleading movie trailers. A judge ruled this week to allow parts of a lawsuit against Universal Pictures to move forward. Two fans of actress Anna de Armas sued Universal for false advertising over its trailer for the 2019 film yesterday. They say they rented the movie after seeing De Armas in the trailer, but her scene was cut from the final film. Universal argued the trailer never explicitly stated De Armas would appear in the movie. Instead, they say it is a creative, expressive work protected by the First Amendment. The judge disagreed and ruled while movie trailers involve some editorial discretion its creativity does not outweigh the commercial nature of a trailer the house select committee investigating the deadly january 6th insurrection has released more transcripts from interviews conducted during its year-and-a-half investigation. The latest batch of documents reveals interesting details about how a key member of the Trump White House responded upon hearing about the riot at the Capitol. Donald Trump's former White House press secretary, Kaylee McEnany, said she had no idea what was happening until she sat down to eat a turkey sandwich for lunch and turned up the volume on Fox News. McEnany says, I in no way shape or form could eat a turkey sandwich if I thought Capitol Hill was being sieged. A separate transcript revealed how the White House crafted a press release in December 2020 calling for the firing of anyone who accepted the election results. The press release was never sent and then Attorney General Bob Barr 
resigned from the White House later that month. Trump's legal team is downplaying the committee's findings and dismissing its criminal referrals. Even though Trump faces scrutiny from DOJ special counsel that is now investigating his attempts to overturn the 2020 election. According to a Texas National Guard spokesperson, the National Guard has installed over two miles of fencing since the first feet of border fencing went up in El Paso last week. And more fencing is expected to be installed. As of yesterday, Monday, approximately 22,000 migrants were sleeping in shelters and makeshift encampments across three northern Mexico cities. That number is only expected to grow as Title 42 remains in legal limbo. And that leaves thousands of migrants to make the decision to either wait for the immigration pandemic policy to be lifted or cross into the United States illegally. 2022 is wrapping up and many people are making financial resolutions for 2023. Financial experts say don't wait until January 1st to lock in smart money moves. if improving your finances is one of your 2023 resolutions. Here are five money moves to consider in these final days of the year. Number one, look ahead and decide which big purchases you'd like to make next year. Then create a budget plan to afford that new car or new house or vacation. Number two, look back at your expenses and figure out what worked and what didn't. Number three, tackle that lingering debt either by paying it off now or avoid dragging it into next year, or come up with a plan to pay it off in 2023. Number four, boost your emergency fund. Figure out the most scaled back amount you need in order to get by month to month. And number five, decide how much you'll invest next year and on what. We also know this time of year is not festive and bright for everyone. The holidays can be especially hard for people grieving the loss of a loved one. Health experts offer these tips on how to cope with sorrow during the holidays. Number one, practice self-compassion. It's okay to enjoy friends and family even while you're grieving. Number two, it's important to allow yourself to feel. Since sadness can come and go, Have a plan if you're out or around others. Number three, when it comes to traditions, it's okay to change them or skip them altogether. And number four, find a way to honor your loved one. Look at pictures or videos, share funny stories, light a candle for them, or talk about what they taught you or lessons you learned from them. 
just do it in a way that feels authentic to you and honors their memory. An abandoned dog in San Francisco got an early Christmas present this month. A forever home. The dog, named Polaris, was, led at the, was left at the San Francisco airport by an international travel traveler who decided to continue traveling without it. According to San Francisco SPCA, United Airlines employees cared for the pup while it completed requirements to enter the U.S. Polaris was adopted by a United Airlines captain and the airline threw a huge adoption party on December 15th. The company also donated $5,000 to support the San Francisco SPCA. Wow, that is a beautiful story. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone, and you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.